in the District of Columbia are suing or planning to sue the Trump administration over new policy that could cut millions of dollars in federal funding from Planned Parenthood and other abortion providers. California's Democratic Attorney General is leading the charge, filing a separate lawsuit today. Joining me now, the host of Left Coast News, Ethan Behrman, and the founder and president of Live Action, Lila Rose. Great to see both of you tonight. Thanks, Good to Shannon. see you, Shannon. All right, I'm going to play a little bit of what the California Attorney General, Javier Becerra, had to say about why he filed. Today's March 4th, 2019. The operative words there are 2019. This is not 1920. Yet, here we are, still fighting the same old battles for women's rights. Make no mistake, this is a systematic effort by this administration to end access to birth control and safe, legal abortion. Lila, Democrats say millions of women will lose access to not only birth control, but health care as well. This is one of the biggest scams in American politics today, Shannon, that Planned Parenthood, the biggest abortion chain. Their abortion numbers have gone up over the last 10 years. Their so-called health care services, like cancer screenings, have gone down. They've done more and more abortions. They commit 900 abortions a day. And people like Attorney General Becerra, his campaign was funded by Planned Parenthood. So, of course, he's going to try to block the federal government from stopping poor taxpayers like you and I from having to fund this abortion giant that's committing these atrocities and lying to women in the process. And so people know what we're talking about is there's money that goes out through Title X to various um, health clinics and family clin planning clinics all over the country. Uh, so the money would go to other health clinics that don't perform abortions or refer people for abortions. Um, Ethan, the House Minority Whip Steve Scalise says this, the Title X program was never intended to subsidize abortion providers. During the Clinton administration, this program was distorted and Planned Parenthood and other abortion providers started receiving millions of taxpayer dollars. What do you make of that? Well, it's interesting. Title X also requires the segregation of funds and separate accounts to be used, and therefore the Title X funds can't be used for abortion providing. It's important to note that only 3% of Planned Parenthood's uh, expenses are related to abortion. I personally know, and I've That's gone with true, one of my even. sisters way back when, absolutely, in college, when she was in college and poor, and she needed to have some women's health services performed. I took her through the protesters, walked with her through the protesters at Planned Parenthood. It wasn't for an abortion. It was for women's health services. That is not unique. And in places like rural Texas, Planned Parenthood is the only provider for 200 miles around. So you're actually having a real impact for lower income women's access to health care. Okay, care. let me bring Lila in here because that's, 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 that's obviously one of the big yeah. arguments is that there, there won't be health care options. There are federal health clinics out there that don't perform abortions, but they aren't everywhere. So there are thousands of federally qualified health centers that provide more comprehensive services than Planned Parenthood. And Ethan, I think you're referring to an area where Planned Parenthood is the only game in town for abortion. And the reality is that's their focus, abortion. This 3% number that you mentioned is inaccurate. Planned Parenthood claims only 3% of what we do is abortion. That's a lie. Even the Washington Post has given that three Pinocchios. Slate has called it very misleading. Their cash car, 40% of their clinic income is from abortion. Their numbers of abortions have gone up while their other health services have gone down. If they really cared so much about other health services, why don't they stop doing abortions? Why don't they give up the killing of the children in their facilities, the 900 well, children every day that, whose lives are ended? Why don't they actually provide holistic health care for women? That's not what they're doing. Ethan, can they, can they separate off and say, okay, we won't do abortions. If, our, if we're really about making sure that women do have health care and other screenings, we'll, you know, give that part of it up. I mean, I, I can't speak to what they're doing organizationally, but God forbid you ever have a miscarriage and need a DNC because that is an almost identical they procedure don't, they to don't, an abortion. They don't serve women with miscarriages. And women have problems. Women have problems getting access to getting their DNCs in a timely fashion after having a miscarriage. I personally know women who have ran it, run into that specific problem. You don't These, go that's to Planned way more for complicated that, you go to a than hospital, just abortion. It is actually physician. having. A ab no, absolutely. Planned Parenthood does those as well. And th this is they access don't deal to health care and the separation abortion. of okay. funds is required by law already. All right. You guys have given us some stuff that we'll actually fact check and we will put out the information on that because um, we won't settle this debate tonight. But Ethan and Lila, we thank you both uh, for being here. Talk about it. Thanks, Shannon. Thanks, thank Ethan. You.